Hello, this is Jeff Falker with In-Depth Studies. Today we're looking at Romans chapter 11, verses 30 and 31. Now, there is a context to this, that you have these famous verses of verse 25 and 26, where it says, Paul says, I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles has come in. And in this way, all Israel will be saved. So however you understand this, now of course my understanding is that when the elect of the Gentiles come to faith in Christ and the elect of the Jews come to faith in Christ, then you'll have the Israel of God. But the important issue is when is this taking place? So as the Apostle Paul says, all Israel will be saved, What's the time frame? When is this going to happen? So let's read 30 and 31. Paul says, Just as you who were at one time disobedient to God, that's the Gentiles, have now received mercy as a result of their disobedience, so they too have now become disobedient, that's the Jews, in order that they too may now receive mercy as a result of God's mercy to you. So the Jews are the disobedient, and now those who have who've embraced it first, the Gentiles, and then there's going to come a time when Jews embrace it. But the question is, when? Well, the operative word in both verse 30 and 31 is the word now. Paul is saying, just as you who were at one time disobedient to God have now received mercy as a result of their disobedience, so they too have now become disobedient in order that they too may now receive mercy as a result of God's mercy to you. So the time frame when this is going to take place is not the end. It is during the new covenant era from Pentecost to the second coming. If this is helpful, you may want to look at more of Jeff's thoughts. You can go to youtube.com. They're all listed there under Jeff's thoughts and you can subscribe to them. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.